Hey, welcome back. So let's see how we can move from Blogger or WordPress to some static site generators like Hugo. Now, I'm not encouraging you to move away from Blogger. I'm not convincing you in any ways. I'm just showing you how you can do that. Um, but in my case, I'll be using Blogger from 2015 and it's a good CMS. Uh, I'm not lying. It's a good CMS. You can make your life more easier if you have a blog. Uh, you know, you can install the app and you can write the blog post with, you know, in no time. But in the case of a static site generator, uh, you, you know, you have to go through its own step. So I hope you know that. Now, the reason why I'm moving is because uh, this is the theme that I'm using in the in my blogger. It's a modified in in it in my no, my own way, so it can be modified it in a very minimal way you know the theme itself is very minimal this is all about it so you can make uh, up to this point but the reason why i'm moving from blogger is not because it's not minimal or bloated uh, so when you are using um, google proprietary stuff you have to comply with their own rules you know you have to write a blog post by following their own rules and conditions so you know i don't like that i mean you know you have to feel the freedom the reason why i'm using linux and all these stuff uh, free and open source software is because to, you know yeah yeah you have to experience the freedom so that's why i'm moving so we're using the block 2 md tool so it's written in javascript it does work so uh basically once you once you clone this repo i have this repo cloned already so this is the block 2 md repository that I've just cloned and then uh, go into your blogger or WordPress go to the settings and uh, there should be an option in, in blogger there is an option called backup your content in the settings so there should be the same option in WordPress as well so you can go ahead and backup your content and download the XML file so XML file basically have all the posts uh, you have in your word uh, blogger or WordPress so this is the XML file that I have. So hope, hopefully you should have this XML file. And then once you have it, you can clone this repo, of course, and then go into the repository and go into the folder. And then uh, if you have your virtual environment, then activate it. Let's run npm install. So once that's done, what's the next step is to run this uh, simple step. Uh, so if you're running, uh, if you are having the backup file from the blogger, you have to use this B flag. But instead, if you have the WordPress backup file, then you have to use this W. W stands for WordPress. So that's, uh, I think that's clear. So in my case, I have blogger. So I'm running node, uh, then index.js, then B stands for blogger. And then what do you have? The XML file. So blog. This is the XML file that I've downloaded. And then the last step is to simply say the output directory, which I'm gonna call out. So this will go to the go through the XML file and parse in the entire post. I have almost like 60 posts, and it will also also um, parse the including the comment. The, the comment will be in a separate folder, a separate file. So you can see the comments are in different files. So basically that means well, I don't recommend this. So if you want to merge your comments, then basically run it uh, and merge it with the M flag. But that's completely optional. So once you have your uh, you know markdown, once the files are in the markdown, um, I will quickly open up one so basically the uh, the front matter the matter in the sense you have this title date draft the dates will be this exact same as what you have in your blogger and then the url it's auto generated you don't have to worry about that so this is all about uh, the contents in the uh, markdown file and then the next step is to simply go ahead and you know make your own hugo site just run hugo new uh, site hello so i have created the hugo site hello and then 
basically you have to go into the out folder copy all these markdown files and put it in the contents folder so i'm going to copy all these contents in the out folder into my uh, contents file in the uh, cuba site so i'm going to paste it into the contents folder and i'm going to also clone a new theme so now that i'm in the themes folder let me clone the theme that i want and then also specify the theme name in the config folder so the last step is to run the uh, hugo site hugo server so go into your local host 1313 then you should see all the posts that you have in your blogger in the hugo site uh, it has all these friend matters by default the friend matter is you can configure it in your arc type folder and basically you can read the uh, hugo documentation on how you can do this anyways <clears throat> i hope you guys enjoyed it um yeah that's it thank you all for watching and if you do like this video then just give a thumbs up and uh, if you do have any questions let me know in the comments yeah that's all thank you all for watching